What? A drill? Ha really? How on earth would a zombie use a drill? You, you know what? You know what? I really don't like to talk to you when you're like this. You know how important zombies are to me, and I don't know what you're... No! No! Damn it, Michael Bolton, this isn't funny. Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton. Uh, excuse me, yeah. Uh, Miss? Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, have you seen my dog? Uh, no. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, thanks. What, but I, I could help you look. You're not a serial killer or a vampire, are you? No, no, but, but, but I am a cannibal. Well, that's good, because I'm terrified of uh, serial killers and, and vampires. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of zombies. <laughs> so, so where did you last see your dog, Michael? Uh, Bolton. Um, well, he usually visits the Ledbetter house so over there. Um, you want to give that a try? Michael Bolton! Michael! I don't understand it. He usually doesn't disappear like this. Well, look, uh, we've searched for hours. Uh, why don't I buy you dinner? Oh, no, you've been so nice. I, I, I should go in and make you dinner. No, trust me, I'm the one who should buy you dinner sometime. I know a nice place nearby. Do they serve human? You, you know, because of the cannibal joke? You know, never mind. Why do you think I'm recommending the place? <laughs> okay, next time. Let's go in. Because of the guy who was engraving the tags. And, and that is why he's named Michael, Michael Bolton. Um, so you, you, you said you were a um, publisher? Yes, uh, one of the few who actually make books. Um, r really, what, what kind? Oh, horror, mostly horror. You know, zombies, lots of zombies. Really? I, you know, I have a book idea. Really? Yes, it takes place in the Middle Ages, you know, 1247, which as you know is the height of the Black Plague. Well. There, Missy. Oh, hi. I saw what you did. What are you talking about? The dog. I saw what happened. I'm Louise Ledbetter, Stanley's next door neighbor. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You killed Michael Bolton. I'm going to tell him. Unless. Unless what? Well, that's a nice purse you have there. Looks like you can afford something nice. You can't tell him. That dog meant so much to him. If you want me, you know where to find me. Yeah, I'm up to chapter two, and I totally agree. Zombies should not be using power tools. Seriously? Yeah, I, I, I don't even understand That's what That's what I keep trying so, to tell you. You eat anything else or just the check? No, just the check, you know, uh, desserts in my place. Well, uh, you'll excuse me, I'll be right back. You two are so cute together. You know, Stan, he used to come in here every night and sit all by himself and eat. And now he is you. That's so good for him, especially after what happened. It's so sad. What's wrong? Can I tell you something? Sure. I killed Michael Bolton on the road in front of 
left Stanley's house. I, I found the dog collar under the wheel. And you haven't told him for... Three months. You have to tell him the truth. You think I should? This sort of guilt just gets inside a person and eats away at them. My grandmother. Right before my grandfather went into the service, she got pregnant. Turns out the kid wasn't his. He went to his grave not knowing he was actually his best friend's son. Now, why he never thought about the fact that his son had red hair and was left-handed, I don't know. But you have to tell the truth. So you think I should tell him? My grandfather? No, he's long dead. Oh, you mean Stan. You have to tell him the truth. So what I miss? You two, uh, have a good night. You too. Well, what's wrong? There's something I have to tell you. No, I, I should be the one to say it. No, no, I have to say it. I, I killed your you. dog. You killed Michael Bolton? I mean, I love you too, but I wanted to tell tell you that. See, on on that first day, it was just. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. It's okay. As long as you love me, it's okay. I do think you owe me another dog, though. I think I will I will name him Herbie Hancock. No. No, and then I will name him Bell Biv DeVoe. Or um MC Hammer. Stop. Jonathan Coltrane. Just stop. Or um Sir Mix a Lot. Ooh, we could get two small ones and name them Millie and Vanilli and hire someone else to bark for them. Too soon. Or fetch the stick Phil Collins, because you know, he's a drummer. Also too soon. And uh well, we could just name him Fred. 